For the last 30 years or so, when it comes to virtual instruments that provide the sound of real acoustic instruments, sampling technology has been king, providing the most realistic sounding acoustic drums, pianos, strings, brass, etc., etc. But as computer power has increased exponentially over that time, physical modeling has become a viable alternative for real time playable instruments, and physically modeled virtual instruments offer some significant potential advantages over sample-based virtual instruments. With a sample-based instrument version of an acoustic instrument, the realism is based on the use of multiple samples, multiple recorded notes from the original instrument, arranged as a key map to cover the full playable range of the instrument when played from a MIDI keyboard. Let's use an acoustic piano as an example. Individual notes of the original acoustic piano are recorded. There could be individual samples for each key, for the highest fidelity, or individual samples of every second or third note could be transposed digitally over two or three notes to reduce the number of samples and save on the CPU, RAM, and storage requirements of the virtual piano. Most commercial sample libraries not only map these multi-samples across the keyboard, but also layer multiple samples of the same note, played at different playing strengths, and set to be triggered at different MIDI velocities. This ensures that the changing timbre of soft to harder to hard played notes is preserved when the player plays dynamically on the MIDI keyboard. MIDI notes played at different velocities trigger different layered samples, and the sound of the virtual instrument includes natural sounding dynamic variations. This can result in virtual instrument sounds that can take up many, many megabytes of disk space, and even with disk streaming, require a fair bit of RAM and performance. But, as we all know, they can be quite realistic, especially in context of a full arrangement. But sampling works better with some types of instruments than with others, with instruments whose performance techniques incorporate more gradual, dynamic, and tonal variations, like brass and strings, for example. The discrete nature of sampling, individual separate samples of different pre-played dynamic variations, can be significantly less expressive than the real thing. And when multiple notes are played together, by and large, the individual sampled notes do not interact with each other as they do in the real physical world. Think of the way piano notes all resonate when a note is played. Or repeated notes on a drum ring out differently when the drum is already vibrating than when the vibration is initiated on a silent drum by the first note. Some sampled instruments try to simulate these subtle but important performance effects to a degree, but by and large, this kind of interaction is not normally sampling's strong suit. These kind of subtleties may be much more noticeable to the player than to a listener hearing the sound within a larger mix, but this is one of the inherent limitations of the sample-based approach to creating highly expressive, playable virtual instruments. The promise of physical modeling is that, because the sound is being created by mathematical models, algorithms, those formulas can be designed to provide not only more continuous dynamic and tonal variation, but more natural physical and acoustic interaction between played notes for a potentially more natural, rich, and expressive emulation. Instead of each played note simply triggering a fixed recording, each played note causes the modeling algorithm to generate a fresh note based on not just the basic formula, but on the current status of the instrument. The best modeling instruments should be able to incorporate the kinds of subtle dynamic variations and physical interactions that subliminally make virtual instruments sound more acoustic, more natural and three-dimensional, with all the subliminal benefits that go along with that extra edge of realism. Of course, despite its potential advantages, there are both upsides and downsides to physical modeling. Besides the advantages in dynamic response, playability, and naturalness I just outlined, since modeled instruments don't use any samples, they have a small footprint in terms of disk space and RAM usage. Considering the massive size of many typical modern sampled instruments, this can be a big advantage for many users. But at the same time, a modeled instrument is likely to put a greater hit on available CPU power. So that spec would be a major consideration for anyone putting together a system 
who plans to use modeled instruments extensively. The other thing about modeled instruments is that to take the fullest advantage of their potentially more expressive performance capabilities, the player may not be able to just sit down and plunk out a few notes on a MIDI keyboard. That might be fine for modeled keyboards or drums, but with physical models of instruments like winds, brass, or strings, which utilize very different performance methods, to really be able to play the modeled version as expressively as a player would play the real thing will likely require the use of additional controllers, wheels, pedals, breath controllers, and require a fair bit of time and effort practicing new performance techniques. This can be a major consideration when using some modeling instruments, and I'll come back to it from time to time. But first, I want to introduce the concepts and terminology that you're likely to encounter in various modeling instruments.